It's Susie with a super, super easy Halloween nail design that requires no actual nail tools. The only tool, if you want to call it that, that we're going to use today is just a toothpick. And that's it. So all you need is black, white, orange, green, and red nail polish to do these wonderful designs. They're quick and easy. They're simple. And again, no special nail tools required, just a toothpick. I hope you enjoy them. Once a base coat is applied to protect our nails, we are going to paint our index finger white, our ring finger here orange, and the other three black. Let's get started. On our pinky finger, we are going to do a little ghost and all we're going to do is use a white brush with not a whole lot of polish on it and then we're just going to do a little stripe down the middle but not all the way down and then I am going to use just a little palette here to put here let me put this where you guys can see what I'm doing too there we go we're going to just put um, a little drop of white down here. Oh, a little bit more than that. There we go. And I'm going to use just a toothpick and pick up some of that white. And I'm just sort of just going to ruffle the edges at the bottom here with it. And that's all I'm doing with it, is making it so at the bottom is um, a bit uneven. And that's it there. We'll wait for that to dry and then apply the ghost eyes. Now that our white ghost has dried, we're going to apply a drop of black polish on our palette. Pick up some black with our toothpick. You want to get a nice, you know, a, a glob of polish on there if, if you can. So I'll just kind of play with it until I get a good amount on there almost um, actually almost kind of scoop it up and then I'm just gonna put a little black dot right there and another little black dot right here and we have our little ghost now we're going to move right on off to our jack-o-lantern. Here I'm just going to use the same black and I'm just going to pick up some more polish. And remember jack-o-lanterns are not perfect, so if we don't get everything exactly symmetrical, no big deal. We're going to draw like little triangles for jack-o-lantern eyes. And it's, it's almost kind of like um, more dabbing it on than really drawing, I guess. And then another one over here. There we have our two eyes. And then our mouth. And I'm just kind of dabbing a general line and then just kind of make it uneven and jagged because the jack-o-lanterns as you know have a screwy smile with a few missing teeth so does this one that's all there is to our little jack-o-lantern now on this nail we're going to do a little Frankenstein. Um, I've painted this nail black, but the black is actually going to be um, the hair for our Frankenstein. So I'm going to go about three quarters 
green. And get all the black covered right there. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more green and make his hair right here uneven. Like that. Then we'll wait for our green to dry and then we'll do his face. And now to complete our Frankenstein, a little bit more black polish on our palette here. And a toothpick again. Kind of scoop up a, a bit of black. Two black dots for eyes. And we're just going to kind of dab a little mouth across like this. Frank is now complete. Easy peasy. Okay, our next one over here, we're just going to do some stitches. Stitches are also really easy. And to do this, I'm going to use a red nail polish. And what I'm going to do is take as much polish off of the brush so that the brush is um, fairly dry and the bristles lay kind of flat. Like that, I'm going to take it and just dab it straight on like so. And then I'm going to take another angle and do the same thing. Make that one a little bit longer. Just like that. We'll wait for that to dry and then we'll be back to complete our stitches. Now that our red is dried, we're, uh, we're going to apply our stitches. Uh, we still have some black polish here from when we were doing Frank. And I'm just dabbing just the very tip of my toothpick in it. I don't want a lot in there. And I'm just going to make some random straight lines across our red area. And we don't want them to be totally straight, so we're going to angle them in different. A little bit different here. And again, when you have this toothpick, you cannot actually drag a straight line across it. So it's more like gentle dabbing. Make that one a little bit longer. All right, and then for this one, we'll just do three stitches on this one. Again, don't get a whole lot of polish on your toothpick. And then we have two cuts with stitches. The final design for our thumb will be just two eyes looking at you out of the darkness. Do some white polish here. Grab our toothpick and just try to pick up a nice big glop of white here. Just kind of dab it around and make a circle out of it. And then another one beside it. And this one has a bubble. If I can get rid of that bubble. There we go. Then we're going to use just a little bit of black here. Pick up our toothpick that we were using earlier for black. Pick some up and one dot in the middle. That's it. 
that is it. Simple and easy. As soon as our designs are dry, we'll apply, we will apply, if I can get my mouth to work right here, a layer of top coat. All we need now is a layer of top coat to complete our design. And definitely make sure that your designs are completely dry before you apply top coat or you're going to smear one color on top of the other and that's not pretty. I've done that plenty of times because I was too impatient. So definitely like, share, and subscribe. And you can also follow me at Susie Nails It on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I would love to hear from you, so comment below. I hope you enjoy this um, super easy Halloween nail tutorial. You guys have a great day.